What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and this episode will set up the bow and arrow animation, see so finally we'll begin with the ranged weapon. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is import the bow and arrow animations. So let's go into characters, RP character, animations, let's create a new folder, let's name this bow. Okay, so now you will be able to download the animation that I will be linking in the description. Let's go ahead, let's drag them into our content browser. Let's press reset to default just in case, and then make sure to choose the SK mannequin for Unreal Engine 5, not the old Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so it's going to be the Unreal Engine 5. Okay, import all, and now import the animation that we need, and you can see them here. So let's go ahead and save it. You can see that we have the bow shoot, looking really cool. The bow idle, which is a simple idle while holding the bow. We have the draw, so when we are you know, going to shoot. And then also aiming, as you can see, which is overlapping with the armor, but don't worry about that right now. Okay, good. Cool. So what we have to do is basically add some states in the animation blueprint to go ahead and enable them or not. So let's go into the RP character animations and open up the animation blueprint. Now, when you open it up, which happened to me when I opened it up, um, he was like dancing. <laughs> and that's because the control brick for the line trace of the IK foot was colliding with the armor in my legs. So what I did was just get rid of it for the preview. So uh, to get rid of the preview, what you do is just select it. So it's orange and then you just press delete. Uh, so you just press it, like hold it. So hold it and then press delete while you're holding with left, left click. And that will basically go ahead and delete the preview. So that's what I did with the one in here in the foot R socket. Uh, no, foot R socket, no, it was in the armor. There we go, armor leg left and also armor leg right. So I just deleted that because uh, it was overlapping and he was dancing with the control rig. Okay, so with that sorted out, let's go into the main state. And what we have to do is create two more states, okay? So, well, actually three more states. So the first state, which is just right click at state, will be the bow, draw, arrow, okay? So basically, when we, you know, go into, uh, you know, aim, we will want to draw our arrow first. Then let's create another state, which will be the aiming itself. And then we will have another one, which will be the bow shoot so when we finally release the string we can say and shoot so normally the simplest way would just just to go from aiming and back here with a boolean right for example this will be first bow let's create a boolean which is has bow okay and then also let's create another one which will be is aiming with bow which we need to put it here there we go so in here will be if it's aiming with bow, I will go here. And then if I'm not aiming with bow, I would go back, right? So let's go ahead and just put this here. Compile. If I put is aiming with bow to be true, as you can see, it doesn't do anything because we have missing the animation. So let's go to here. Type bow in the asset browser, which you can just open here in window. And just drag aiming. And make sure to select it and tick loop animation. So now if we enable is aiming, it will go to aiming and stop. But of course it looks very bad because well, there's not any intermediate animations doing stuff. So that's why we have to first go through bow, draw arrow, then to aiming and then bow shoot. So let's go and delete those transitions that were more of an example. And let's go into bow, uh, bow draw arrow. Then this will go into the aiming. And then this will go to bow shoot, and then this final will return back, okay? Okay, great. So from here to bow, uh, bow draw arrow, this will be if we have the arrow enabled and we are also aiming. Let's just put this here. There we go. So, so it will go from here to the bow 
draw which we'll go ahead and just drag and of course remember this will not loop this is a simple use quick action which will then transition to the next one okay so let's select this one and because it is automatic we can just click this automatic rule based on sequence so when this animation finishes it will instantly just go to the next one so there's no condition in this one then on here this will be when uh, if we have arrow and we have stopped aiming so we are not longer aiming with the bow in that case we want to go ahead and return and then the next one from bow shoot to the locomotion will just be an automatic rule so now if i were to go and press is aim with bow as you can see uh, nothing will happen <laughs> uh, because i need to go into also bow shoot and press bow shoot here very important okay and then also very important i have to enable has bow in order to now click is aim with bow now you see it will reload and we can say draw not reload that's incorrect okay and then go back into the aiming pose and then once i release it it will shoot and go back to an art locomotion which is really 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 cool great so now let's just disable house bow for a second and now i do have my other idle animation so when i have my bow equipped i want to play this idle animation instead of the default one that we have over here right so what i can do is go into the event sorry the main anim graph enter into locomotion and we have our idle animation we can use this very useful node which is the blend poses by bull this will simply just go ahead and pick this animation or other one depending on a boolean so this one will be in false the normal one and then the one for the bow will be in true and in this case the condition will be has bow so put has bow here and enable has bow you can see that it will go into the bow standing animation and then if i go and enable is aiming with bow it will go ahead and reload all the feet is perfect it's really cool then shoot and we'll go back to idle all seamlessly is very very cool so all the animation states are done the only thing left will be to control it from the player itself right so when we have the arrow equipped we can left click and do all that stuff so let's quickly just go into our blueprint for the in this case let's do it in our attack system okay whereas we have all the combos and all these stuff let's go down and what we have to do is create a new input so let's go to third person input actions right click and this will be a new input for our bow so it'll be ia underscore is bow uh shoot i guess we could say okay and then we can leave it as default and just add it into the collection so let's go here add a new mapping and this will be our bow shoot and this case will be the left mouse button of course you can put whatever key you want but for me that will be it okay so now i can now just right click ia underscore bow shoot will be the enhanced input action event and when it has started i am going to basically just check if i have my bow so i'll have a new boolean has bow which we'll set later on so if i do have my bow i can now just go and uh create another event which will be sorry variable which will be aiming bow and this will be set to true in this case on completed which is when you stop holding so this will be when you start to hold when you stop holding this will be the opposite so now i just need to get this two variables from the animation blueprint so they can be automatically set so let's go into characters rpg animations uh animation blueprint and now we just go into the event graph and we have all the stuff here let's just add a new pin and now i i just want to go and get the player which is the character and just do get bbc attack system and then from here just do get has bow so get has bow okay and then set has bow so i'll be setting it from the one in the blueprint let's connect this over here so i have if i have it this is what will happen okay and then i want to get the aiming with bow 
And if so, I want to set it here. So set it, connect it, great. So now in here, you will see that if I turn on aiming bow, sorry, aiming bow, no, uh, has bow, and I'll press play. If I now, uh, I'm in idle, you can see the idle for the bow. And then if I hold the left mouse button, it will go and, you know, kind of do the reload thing. And you can see my head is also aiming, uh, which is really cool. And then also just when I stop holding it, it will release it and go back to idle, which looks absolutely insanely good. And you can see that we have an arrow. Uh, this because it's trying to access it when it's not basically created. So what we can do is just get this and do an is valid. So it will only continue if this is valid. And that will basically get rid of the error. Because this might be because um, at the start it doesn't, the component doesn't initialize. Uh, but that should be fixed now. So I can go do all this and you have no errors as you can see. Great. We'll also make sure that we cannot attack if we have our bow. So we can just do can attack will be disabled. Okay. Because of course we don't want to attack with our sword. Uh, if we have our bow, we should be controlled later on, but cool. And that's it for this episode. We have all the animations for the, uh, you know, bow set up. And of course, we will need to be able to only do the bow thing when we have it equipped in ranged weapons, of course. And then also when we're going to go ahead and attack, you know, equip it into our hand. And that will be done through the next episodes, okay? We will also need to do that you can aim up or down, very important. And again, that will be done through the next episodes. I'm calculating it will be two more, okay? But, you know, I could be incorrect. It could be one or it could be three. So we'll see. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful or would really appreciate it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Lots of Unreal Engine 5 throws, so check them out. Remember that the Pride Files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so go check them out once again. Um, join my social server, follow me on socials, and now, yes, for all I said, bye bye.